Hey guys, it's Bang for about PC Gaming here, back with some more Forza Motorsport 7 demo footage. Um, this time I'll be using a different resolution. I'll be playing at 3840 by 2160, but this time I'll be increasing the resolution scale to 200%, which is times two. So this should give you an 8K resolution of 7680 by 4320. Obviously, I'll be using ultra settings once again, 16 times anisotropic filtering, but I will be disabling multi-sample anti-aliasing as we can all agree at 8k it just isn't required and it's a race of performance so aim is just to see how the gtx 1080 ti does at 8k forza motorsport 7. i've done all demo modes apart from the mercedes-benz um, racing truck so this is the one i want to do now okay guys before i start the level i just want to go through the in-game settings that i'm using so for the assist, I'm not really using any assists at all. Suggested lines disabled, ABS is off. Steering's at normal, tracks control and stability control are both disabled. I do manual shifting, damage fuel and tire wear are both at simulation level, which is the highest. Rewind and the friction assist option is both being disabled. Now for the driver tire difficulty, um, that's at average, but I'll be putting it to highly skilled this time just to challenge myself a little bit. And the limit aggression option is enabled to still allow the AI to drive as cleanly as possible. So let's see how I do. So, as usual, I'll be driving in two different views just to give you guys two different perspectives. So, I'll be driving in a cockpit view and cockpit view and as well as the chase camera view so each lap I'll change the, change the view. Not a bad start. These trucks handle surprisingly well for their size but one thing about their size it does make it a little difficult to overtake because there isn't that much room on the track. Try to reclaim track position but I'm not letting it. Probably a little bit too early for that one. Should be able to do it around the next corner. There you go. That's how you do it. Try to take him up the inside. Should be not close enough, I'll back off. Stay in the slipstream and I'll just take them out at the end, just straight. Then all I have is um, second and first place to take out for the last lap. Shouldn't be too hard. Uh, it was surprisingly slow over the chicane. I think I'll be able to take them on the outside. Quite quick enough, but I'll just stay in his slipstream. Should be able to do him on the straight. Okay, I'm going to change the view now to the chase camera. Which, with how big the truck is, makes it a little bit more difficult to drive, but I just want to give you guys a little bit of a different perspective. guy's putting up a good fight but finally got past him now I can chase down position two and one I 
Gallo is definitely looking a lot better than it was in the last fours where I played, which was probably fours of Motorsport 4. But it looks pretty stunning. Okay, this is going to be tight. If I want to win this race, I'm going to have to really get a good drive through the chicane where the AI seems to be a little bit slower. Okay, this is the part of the lap I have to do very well. Guys, really holding me back. Look at that away. I can chase down number one. I think I'll take him into this corner. I'm aggressive enough. It's tight. I'll get past him now. It's just able to squeeze past. Difficult race, but I got the job done in the end. Good stuff. Truck isn't too beat up either. That was a good race. And as you can see, the GTX 1080 Ti are doing a great job. Even at um, 8K, I'm able to achieve way of over 60 frames per second. So um, I guess, guess that goes to show this game is very, very optimized in its own way. As for the, G, the CPU load, um, the 100% core is actually intended by turn 10, I've, I've been led to understand, so there won't be any patches for that, so um, that's the way it's going to be, but it works pretty well and it doesn't seem to be stuttering too much, so anyway guys, that's pretty much it for me, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and as, as always, thanks for watching.